Hello everybody, this is Mike, and what we are doing today is we're giving a big test of our Let's Play software and capturing video and all this stuff, and we're trying to see if we can keep doing Let's Plays on what we currently have as our software and hardware and stuff. I'm thinking it would. this is working. Uh, this is technically the third or fourth recording I've done so far. It's going to be the first you see, though, because those first three are all a mix of, well, different problems. But that's in the past. Maybe one day those will be sort of sk cities, skylines, minus world episodes or something, because I thought they were pretty funny because we got ourselves into some terrible, terrible shenanigans with this game, and I thought I was pretty hilarious. But regardless... We can look at our loads. There's our old towns. We're not going to be using those. We're going to be starting a whole new save. We're going to make sure our mods are off, because that was one of our first mistakes. We're, we're going to play at the tutorial level, just so that we have a nice, a nice, nice curve to this game. Start easy. And also... If we turn on those mods, we're going to end up starting with, well, not infinite money. There is an infinite money mod, but we would start with a, like, when we unlock all progression milestones and everything, that gives us about $750,000 to start with, and that's about 10 times as much as you actually start with, so really you have no money problems throughout the game if you click that mod on only one we're doing is this little traffic report mod, which helps us with our traffic. We're going to use that. It's not a... It's an excellent mod. But we're going to here start up new game, City Skylines. We're going right back to Two Rivers. Springdale, goodbye. We're going to call you Nowhere. City of Nowhere, let's get founding. So, Skitty, City Skylines. To me, this game is very much what SimCity 2013, what I really hoped it was going to turn out to be. SimCity 2013, I will say, is probably a more impressive engine, and it has a lot of great things about that engine, and its UI, and its building tools, and all sorts of little, little things with... SimCity, but this is a more well-rounded and crafted engine. It runs a lot smoother. It runs a lot better um, than SimCity 2013 did. And part of that might be because we're newer and on newer hardware and all sorts of things. There's, there's lots of reasons why this game is probably a lot smoother. Yeah, probably also not having to deal with origin, which is nice. We're going to turn off these little tutorial bubbles so they don't bother us. But here we go. we got a nice plot of land here. And look at that land. Our borders are those white lines for our city to start. And unlike SimCity 2013, I believe we can spread out to just about all that we can see here. We can take this land over, we can take that land over. I've seen land taking over work in this game before, and it works really amazingly well. I think all of this land is technically in the render right now. I don't I don't know how far we can go out, but we can expand pretty far and pretty good. And we're going to just pause things really quick. Take a look at our start. We can't really do much yet at the start because we did turn on to leave on tutorial mode. I wish they had a starter mode that didn't give us the milestones but gave us unlocked all the tools. Or at least most of the tools or you know, had an intermediate mode. But we don't they don't really have that yet. The, this is, that's one of the flaws of this game so far. There isn't a whole lot of intermediate airy support. And like you either start with bare bones basic or everything unlocked. And that's great, but doesn't always work for the best. We 
are going to be very careful here. On my last Let's Play, we weren't straight, and we ended off not making this very good. So we're going to straight from this road this time. We straight it off from the last road this t the last time. But we're going to curve right into here. And bam. That intersection's going to work for now. Eventually, oh, see that? I don't know if that's straight. I don't know how straight that is. Well, we're just going to live with it. It's not straight. It's nowhere near straight. Look at that. It's not straight. We're going to work with it. We're going to just work with the what we have. One of the things you got to get used to is when you're building roads, it likes to, you know, just wham, and then all of a sudden you see me careening off in a curve in an unknown direction. That's one of those little quirks of this game. It likes to build. And it will just careen off in another direction. You don't want it to go. If you can hear the background, we are listening to The Unbreakable Kimmy Smith, which is a fabulous show. You should all watch. Titus Andromeda is the greatest. We are just going to leave it like that for now. This is going to be the start of our town. We are going to start getting some roads. In. Oh wait, nope, we did not want that road. We are refunding that road back to the taxpayers that do not exist yet. Power. That's where we start. We're going to build it back here in this back at Woods Corner. Just so that all that pollution only exists in this backwoods corner of our little city. We're going to build some industrial in there too. We got the yellow. Bam. All that's going to be yellow. We're going to bisect this thing with a nice road. And as you see, yeah, see, I right click and bam, the road's gone. This pop, these pop-ups, they keep annoying me. But we're going to put some yellows. Just a humble start, because our first playthrough, we got a little greedy. And we went really far with those roads, and we ran out of money really quick. So we're not going to talk about that. think that is straight. It's not s perpendicular with that road, but I think it's closer to straight than what we played it last time. See, look at that. I think that's straight with the line, or at least pretty close. Uh, ooh. Oh, only two plots. Unacceptable. We're going to fix that. Doesn't cost us anything anyway. So. where our road was last time. This is where it is this time. It's going to give us a little bit more living space along that line. Turn that into industrial again. Bam. A little bit more living space in there. And I think we can live with that. Gonna go all the way out. Five lanes. 
We went straight on that one. Hopefully, we get straight on this line. Oh, yeah. But it's not straight this time. Look at that. I know it's obsessive. We didn't do this last time, and it really bit us. And we are going to get it close to... Closer to right this time. See, I think if we build it out a little bit more, we can get it closer. And I think that's... That's going to be close enough. I'm not going to get upset with that road. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a much straighter line. We'll be able to work with that. It's not perfect. But it's actually a little bit crooked. But we'll work with it. We're going to keep building out this way. Last time we roped ourselves into a corner. Building too many roads. And we're going to just work with that for now. We're going to build a water, because we need that now. And we're going to build our outpipe for our water. All the way downstream, you can see the arrows point in the direction of the stream flow. Actually, we'll build that one downstream later. That got us into trouble last time, too. We got built too many roads, and we had to build too many water pipes. And that was our problem. We'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit of pollution for now to save a little bit later. So, I'm going to not do that yet. I'm going to start going this way with our water pipe. We're just going to build out a little bit, a little bit to the side, and then we're going to go a line. Bam. Awesome. Big awesome water pipe. And then we're going to connect this one in, connect in. There we go. So, we've got a little bit of water, but we're going to need, we're going to need to cover this area. I'm going to start building my pipes in these diagonals. Because as I've been playing, I think I cover the square area a lot easier on diagonals than I actually do using the straight pipes. So we're going to... Diagonals just seem to work better. I don't know why, but they seem to work better to me. So we're going to leave them. And now, we're going to put in a little bit of blue districts. Get the city rolling. And then we're going to... Greens. 
all green. Keep ourselves out of trouble. And let's start playing so that we can start making some money. We're at 20k right now. We got a power. We got a power plant. Oh, these things aren't working. Gotta actually build a fan. I'll build one right there. And bam. Now our water treatment plants have power. Oh yeah, we're pumping water. See, one of the things about this game, and we're going to realize this really so quickly here, these people don't actually have power right now. You can see their power grid. It's not connected to this power grid. So for the time being, we're going to have to temporarily give them power just like that, using one of our power lines. But eventually, this grid will get big enough. We'll expand back over to the power station as we get some more industry to pop up in here. And we won't have to worry about this power line anymore. We can just tear it down. The temporary fix. Just like this road right here. Eventually, see, we start off with grids. Eventually, we're going to build out. I think the first town we got on the live stream started making some nice curves in here. And I want to do that again. And we're going to do that again. We're going to make some really nice curves. We're going to make things look really nice in here. We're going to have some nice curves curving out and getting all curvy up into the coast here. Things are going to look awesome. We're going to make this town look awesome. It's going to look pretty plain here at the start as we're getting our first few thousand residents. Hundred residents. We haven't broke a hundred yet. We'll get there. We're losing money pretty quickly. It's probably because of how few people we have paying taxes. And how few jobs we have. We've got some stores popping up, so that's some jobs coming in. That's going to be money. See, we ran into problems because we ran out of money in the last game. But here comes everything. Everything's starting to come up. We don't really have much yet, though. We have a budget. We might trim our budget a little bit. Just to start... Just to pinch the cash flow a little bit. Bam. Let some people move in. Stores pop up. See, if we sort of built while we played, you know, just instead of pause like we did, you know, we probably would have gotten people and moved in jobs and industry and all that stuff. And we wouldn't have to be waiting right now. But I didn't think of that. And so we're just going to play with what we got. We're going to get some more people in here. But we're going to turn this... This is a rink -a dink little town. This rink -a dink little town is going to become big. Big city. We're going to... Probably all of these roads you see right now eventually won't be a part of this town. They'll be gone. We'll have something new. Something awesome. I don't know what we have right now. This is a rink -a dink little town. We're starting. And we're going to turn up the speed. So we have nothing we can do right now besides build more roads and districts some new things. We don't have much. We have to start making money, though. We are s quickly losing less, though. Which is awesome. People are moving in. Alright. Time to start getting some roads going, because I don't think we're going to run the risk of getting into the negatives. So, bam. Bye-bye houses. Bye-bye houses. We're trading.
trying to get more houses coming up. Hey, we're a hamlet. Gives a landfill, clinic, and elementary school. Good, we need that school. And we got some money, 28 grand. Well, we're going to spend it on a school. We're going to put that school right here. That's a good start for our school. People are going to like that school. They're going to want to live next to that school. Why? I really don't know. Things are looking up for our little rinky-dink town. I think next one of the next things we're going to do... Can we get a park yet? We can't get a park. Oh, we can't get a park. We should really get a medical clinic. We have enough money for the medical clinic. So we're going to build it. Right across the street from the elementary school. Bam. There we go. We're caring for people's health. And we are teaching them. So right now, let's look at our education panel. We have a town full of idiots. 100% uneducated people. Uneducated citizens. Don't have enough for high school yet. Nowhere near university. Our elementary school is quickly filling, which is good. We want to get these people educated so we can get rid of this dirty industry and put in some better offices and stuff. Once we get that, that will be, we'll be really rolling in some money. Instead of making $82 a month or something per tick, a week, weekly income, $80, $71 a week. Look at these houses. We're going to educate these people up. I'm going to teach them not to have two-tone roofs. Seriously. Oh, those are two houses next to each other. I get it now. I see why you have two-tone roofs. Still pretty dumb. So it looks really dumb. See, we're going to teach you to be more like this person. Living in an L. Look at that. Hey, we're starting to get money up again. Come on, money. How much for our dump? Oh, four grand. Only four grand. And it fits right back here. Right in our power area. Our landfill area now. I'm going to give it a little bit of space. Maybe. Hmm. Right there. I like it right there. Bam. Taking care of all of our city services. Except for police and fire. Bam. Dump. City dump. Right where nobody cares. Taking care... Taking out the garbage. Getting people jobs. City jobs. We don't have much we can do. Seriously. Playing on the tutorial mode keeps us pretty slow. And I feel bad, because I don't know how entertaining this is being. We really need to speed this up, though. We're going to start putting this on 3-speed. Let's start getting this up. We need to get money. We need to get people. We need to get industry. We need to get roads. I'm going to start building some more roads, because we're starting to get some demand coming back. This is it. I turned this yellow? Ooh, I did let that be yellow. Let's not let that be yellow. Let's de-district this. We're going to redistrict this blue. Fix that up. I think that was a mistake. That was a major mistake. We're going to let that fix. Build 
two more blocks out. And we're going to put more industry there. Hey, Worthy Village. We got more loans, police departments, all sorts of fun stuff. Awesome. Things are building up. Things are getting better. Things are going better. Look at that. We're, these are really going to be temporary roads. So eventually we're going to put a whole medium lane road right in here. Which we can't really build yet. We can build a little four lane road now. But I'm going to put a medium lane nice in here with some nice trees and stuff. Put that right down the line. We're going to actually huh, handle our traffic with a nice roundabout right in here. We're going to build that up. I'm going to start curving things out, curving things out, making things all nice. Things are going to look great. But for right now, we're going to take a little break. You guys can move on to the next video. This is the end of part one. When we come back, we're going to build out a little bit more. We're going to build some more houses. We're going to get things going. Get these people some water. we do that right now. These people don't have water. That's an emergency. There we go. Those people have water. And you just saw that. When we come back, we'll get more than just those people some water. We'll get our town rolling. So, later guys. Hello everybody, this is Mike. And what we are doing today is we're giving a big test of our Let's Play software and capturing video and all this stuff. And we're trying to see if we can keep doing Let's Plays on what we currently have as our software and hardware and stuff. I'm thinking it would. this is working. Uh, this is technically the third or fourth recording I've done so far. It's going to be the first you see, though, because those first three are all a mix of, well, different problems. But that's in the past. Maybe one day those will be sort of cities, skylines, Minus World episodes or something. Because I thought they were pretty funny. Because we got ourselves into some terrible, terrible shenanigans with this game. And I thought I was pretty hilarious. But, regardless, we can look at our loads. There's our old towns. We're not going to be using those skylines. We're going right back to Two Rivers. Springdale, goodbye. We're going to call you Nowhere. City of Nowhere, let's get founding. So, Skitty, City Skylines. To me, this game is very much what SimCity 2013, what I really hoped it was going to turn out to be. SimCity 2013, I will say, is probably a more impressive engine, and it has a lot of great things about that engine and its UI and its building tools and all sorts of little little things with SimCity, but this is a more well-rounded and crafted engine. It runs a lot smoother. It runs a lot better um, than SimCity 2013 did. And part of that might be because we're newer and on newer hardware and all sorts of things. There's, there's lots of reasons why this game is probably a lot smoother. <laughs> yeah, probably also not having to deal with origin, which is nice. We're going to turn off these little tutorial bubbles so they don't bother us. But here we go. We got a nice plot of land here. And look at that land. Our borders are those white lines for our city to start. And unlike SimCity 2013, I believe we can spread out to just about all that we can see here. We can take this land over, we can take that land over. I've seen land taking over work in this game before, and it works really amazingly well. I think all of this land is technically in the render right now. I don't 
I, I don't know how far we can go out, but we can expand pretty far and pretty good. And we're going to just pause things really quick. Take a look at our start. We can't really do much yet at the start because we did turn on to leave on tutorial. We're going to be starting a whole new save. We'll make sure our mods are off because that was one of our first mistakes. We're, we're going to play at the tutorial level just so that we have a nice, a nice, nice curve to this game. Start easy. And also, if we turn on those mods, we're going to end up starting with, well, not infinite money. There is an infinite money mod. But we would start with a, like, when we unlock all progression milestones and everything, that gives us about $750,000 to start with. And that's about ten times as much as you actually start with. So really, you have no money problems throughout the game if you click that mod on. The only one we're doing is this little traffic report mod, which helps us with our traffic. We're going to use that. It's not a... It's an excellent mod. But we're going to here start up New game, city scout mode. I wish they had a starter mode that didn't give us the milestones, but gave us, unlocked all the tools. Or at least most of the tools, or, you know, had an intermediate mode. But we don't, they don't really have that yet. The, this is, That's one of the flaws of this game so far. There isn't a whole lot of intermediary support. And, like, you either start with bare bones basic, or everything unlocked. And... That's great, but doesn't always work for the best. We are going to be very careful here. On my last Let's Play, we weren't straight, and we ended off not making this very good. So we're going to straight from this road this time. We straighted off from the last road this t the last time. But we're going to curve right into here. Bam. 